There is a new weight loss pill in testing that hits four different hormones at once, and it is not FDA approved. People are calling it bioglutide, or NA931, and it's not just another version of Ozempic. Here's the deal. Most drugs you've heard about, like semaglutide, better known as Ozempic, only target one pathway called GLP-1, which mainly tells your brain you're full. Then there's Munjaro, or terzepatide, that doubles up by hitting GLP-1 and GIP together. But bioglutide takes it even further as a quadruple agonist, aiming at GLP-1, GIP, glucagon, and something brand new in this space, IGF-1. Now, IGF-1 is the wild card. None of the existing weight loss meds mess with it. Scientists think it could help people keep muscle while losing fat, which is a big deal if you've seen folks lose strength on other drugs. But to be real, that's still a theory, not proven yet. Oh, and let us clear up a myth real quick. This is not just Ozempic in pill form. The interesting twist is that bioglutide is being tested as an oral peptide pill. Normally, peptides get chewed up in your gut before they can work, so the challenge is figuring out how to coat or package the drug so your body actually absorbs it. The company behind NA931, Biomed Industries, says they're working on exactly that. Here's where things stand. Bioglutide is only in phase two trials right now. That's the stage where researchers are still figuring out the right dose, checking safety, and looking for early signs that it works. When you hear top-line results, that usually just means a few headline numbers are ready, but not the full detailed data. So yeah, there's still a lot we don't know. Which dose works best? How does it stack up head-to-head -head with Ozempic or Manjaro? And does it hold up over the long haul, or does the effect fade? Those answers will take more time. For now, bioglutide looks promising, but it's still experimental. Would you actually swap weekly injections for a pill if it worked the same? Drop your take in the comments. And if you want the breakdown of how it stacks up against Ozempic and Monjaro, that's coming up in the next episode, so hit subscribe and stick around.